Hi, guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. called a yin and yang. Um, okay, so I'm probably gonna have to split this video into two because it's a slightly lo longer reading. Okay, so today is August the 30th. Um, so we'll start with The Alchemist. Um, this is the magician energy. So it is pure consciousness, awareness. Um, it's an activation. When you wanna do something, you activate the consciousness. Um, so attention, control, focus is the overall energy shared by, between both sides. Um, so the energy, whoa, my kitty just jumped over the reading. Um, so the five of cups is the feminine energy and the four of swords is the masculine energy. Uh, this half of the reading is a feminine, this half masculine. So five of cups, uh, the feminine is in a sad state. She's mourning a loss. She feels disconnected. She feels, um, you know, that she may have invested some, you know, of her emotions in somebody or something or the masculine, um, and it didn't work out the way she had hoped. The masculine, the four of swords, so this is somebody retreating, um, and this comes after the three of swords, which is heartbreak. Uh, but so this is healing. Um, it is withdrawing from negative thoughts, negative people. So the way the feminine feels about herself is the queen of wands, the queen of no fucks given. Now, there's opposites here, right? She's in this five of cups energy, but yet she feels that she is the queen of wands. So the queen of wands is somebody who's flamboyant, who wants to be the center of attention. She is very creative. Um, she's in the spotlight, right? So, you know, there's... I almost see like a mask being put on to mask the pain that she might be feeling. The way she feels about the masculine is the star card. So this is actually healing. Um, so she's picking up on that vibration. So this could be that, you know, the connection is mending. Um, you know, there's bonds that are being strengthened. So the way she feels about uh, the connection is a three of pentacles. So this is a firm foundation. She feels grounded in the connection. She knows there's more work to do, but this connection is solid. Um, what she fears is the Knight of Cups. So this is movement forward. Um, maybe she feels that this connection won't move forward emotionally or that the masculine won't come towards her. So this is commitment. Um, what she wants is the Ace of Cups, so this is a new beginning of a love and connection. It is unconditional love. The love is overflowing. Um, and what will be is the Universe or Nirvana card. So this is an absolute completion of a major cycle. So there is a sense of, you know, something coming to a completion, major cycles uh, coming back and um, completing. So... What the feminine wants is the loving connection. Um, and what the universe is saying is that what will be will be, right? Don't hope and wish for something. Um, you know, just work on your spirituality, work on, um, you know, your soul growth, basically. Okay, so on the masculine side, the way he feels about himself is the hangman, so surrendering, letting go of control, seeing things from a different perspective. Uh, the way he feels about the feminine is a temperance card, uh, patience, balance, harmony. Um, there's no overextension, so he sees her as an angel who is, you know, standing by his side while he surrenders uh, and allows the situation or whatever to play out at the moment. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, or sorry, the King of Pentacles is how he feels about the relationship. So major stability. He wants to be a provider, possibly manifest this connection into the 3D. Both um, views as far as a relationship are very stable in the 3D reality. Uh, what he fears is the sun. So the sun, you know, this one really kind of stumped me. Um, he fears... 
you know, maybe that he's never going to feel the sun, that he's going to live in this space of happiness, playfulness, um, returning to innocence, new beginning. What he wants is the um, high priest. This is, you know, somebody who's a spiritual leader, who's divinely guided, who d guides others, right? Um, very stable uh, spiritual being. So the two of them together, it's masculine energy. Um, you know, it's almost like he wants to draw that sun power in order to, to shine his, his, um, you know, his soul, his, guide other, others out of the darkness. So the, what will be is the six of wands, people cheering him on, uh, wand is fire energy, a lot of excitement, momentum building. Um, yeah, so that's the reading that I got for August the 30th. All right, cheers.